Hi everyone and welcome back to another studio or convention vlog. Today is Saturday the 23rd yeah, of February and I'm tabling at Coacad in Hamburg. And we, yeah, that's why it's so dark in here because um, it's very early and we will be leaving very soon. And yeah, I will be tabling there today. It's a rather small convention close to where I live. So yeah, that's really fun because I've been there a few times but never tabled there. So yeah, that's exciting. And I wanted to bring you guys with me and maybe show you a bit behind the scenes and so on. So yeah. Um, I just printed out a few free stickers that I still have to cut out. I'm going to be doing that now. And um, yeah, then we are leaving and um, maybe I can show you how we built the table and stuff. And um, yeah, I'm very excited for today. So let's go. I also filmed a clip of myself cutting the stickers, so yeah, here you go. Um, I cut them out and watched um, Trish's newest video where she was eating a bunch of seafood, which was kind of strange right in the morning, but I still really enjoyed her talking and yeah, just slowly waking up and cutting some stickers that I would be giving out for free along with people buying stuff. So everyone who bought something also got one of those stickers. And the whole time while this convention lasted it was just pouring rain every single day. So we got wet every time we went there and also when we went home. Here's some footage of us building our table and we only built this once at DCC in Utrecht so we still had to do some figuring out um, but yeah everyone was building and it's just a very cool atmosphere yeah just building your table with everyone and I tried to get some cool shots for you guys so you could um, see how the whole area looked and um, yeah, what the experience was like. I was kind of hesitant to film most of the time, but I did get some shots from, yeah, when we were building. Here is, um, yeah, me putting everything together and hanging stuff up. We did have two hours to build everything, so we were easily able to do that. And yeah, we were sitting next to two very wonderful people. So um, yeah, it was a very lovely experience. And here's a picture of me sitting at my table that I also posted on social media um, where you can kind of see the whole setup. Then once the convention slowly died down, we got some bubble tea, some boba. Um, yeah, and you can see me struggling to <laughs> open yeah <laughs> open my drink and yeah we were really tired but it was also a lot of fun and a very enjoyable first day hey guys so um it's day two of coacad and we didn't sleep enough so that's why we had to rush and that's also why i'm filming outside while we are walking um yeah we are on our way now and um and yeah we're excited for day two. Really tired, but also excited. So yeah, we'll see us at the convention center. Day two was pretty much the same. I met the most beautiful Alice in Wonderland cosplayer ever. Um, her name is Lost in Wonderland Art, and I'm going to be linking her Instagram down below. And um, yeah, there was this Clip Studio paint booth where you were able to doodle on the screen. And there was a super cute doodle on the screen that I wanted to include as well. Okay, now we're back and I wanted to show you guys what I got at Coacad. Um, excuse my finger here, but I broke one nail when we were packing together our booth and I want to just make sure nothing happens. So yeah, safety first. I'm sorry you have to deal with that. Um, yeah, you maybe saw in one of my clips that there was a booth from Clip Studio Paint and um, yeah, you could draw there and stuff. And they also gave each artist one of these folders to put artwork in and then also some promotion material, uh, which is really cool. And I got this one, which is really pretty. Mila, I'm 
And yeah, in here I put everything that I bought. So yeah, let me show that to you. The first artist that I want to show you is Mochipango. And she is one of the artists that I was most excited about. So um, yeah, let's show you some of her stuff. I'm pretty sure you already know her. Um, just going to lay everything here. So I got some of these witchy postcard prints of hers. This one as well. Oh, <laughs> this one as well. And just look at these colors over here. I'm just, ah. and I also got her Ghibli set where she redrew some of and the Ghibli characters in modern clothes and I remember seeing this on Twitter for the first time and I was just so excited so um, yeah it was really cool to meet her and to see that she's just as cute in real life she um she was dressed really fashionably which was really cool so yeah <laughs> she's just as cute as her drawings yes um the second artist that i wanted to show you was my booth neighbor honey art and i didn't know her before but i got to know her during this time because we were just yeah sitting right next to each other and um it was her first convention so that was really exciting but she was doing very well <clears throat> okay let me Here's her card and I got some of her stickers. So this bee lady, then this motivational bee, this cute bunny. <laughs> and she also is doing some of these very cool windows aesthetic plan things and she's planning on doing more of that so that's really exciting and I also got this print of hers and um, a now even more exciting is all the art she gave me so she made this Alice in Wonderland themed drawing for me and also made this Pennywise artwork and yeah, she even drew me, which was just, yeah, just look at it. It's, it, lo it looks just like me. So yeah, I was really exciting for this. Uh, and I was really excited for this. And um, yeah, the whole time we were just drawing for each other and um, talking, which was really nice. I couldn't have asked for any better booth neighbor, which was really fun and very cool. The next artist I wanted to show you is, um, Elusive Abyss. Oh, here. Um, focus. This is her ad. And she traded this beautiful Coraline print with me. When I when I saw that she had some Coraline prints, of course I had to choose that one. And she even gave me this cacao card, which is really cool. So yeah, I got these two from her. She was just going around being really sweet and um, traded some stuff with other people. If you know me, you know that I can pass up an uh, opportunity to meet Stefan Lose, who is one of my favorite artists. And yeah, this pin thing is empty because I already put this wooden ramen pin onto my pencil case. Just look at this. I already have quite a few things of him, um, like a bunch of his cat stickers and also ramen stickers. And I also have one of his prints up on my shelf, which um, is a ramen print, which I really like. And it's one of my favorite artworks. And yeah, I'm a huge fan. If you haven't checked him out, then go do that because he's also really nice. The next artist I want to show you is Kiyohopper. And he was also really fun. And he had um, this doodle machine at his booth which was really cool and fun. The first print I want to show you is this very big one, but I had to get it because of all the beautiful colors. And then I also <laughs> purchased two of these 
tone stickers because I just love them. And I also got this little dog who wears a hat and is a clown. And then these three postcards as well, which are just beautiful. We had a booth right next to Percy Chen and I have met him at other conventions like the Dokumi last year and he's just, he makes beautiful artwork and I have <laughs> most of his stuff in my sticker collection and also some of his prints and I, I haven't hung them up yet but I will at some point and um, he had a booth neighbor but I couldn't find a business card and was too shy to ask but um, I have to check out if I can find the ad but from her I got these two prints of wolves and then also this beautiful dog sticker so and which was really cool is we sat right next to him so we could watch him draw which was yeah very cool <laughs> we were just um, sneakily watching him the whole time and admiring his skill <laughs> Um, yeah, he has a completely different technique from how I draw, so that was very interesting to watch. So yeah, this is everything that I got and I'm very happy about the, the stuff that I bought this time. And um, yeah, that's the most exciting part for me at least um, of co about conventions is meeting really cool people meeting cool artists and then supporting them and buying from them. And yeah, Mila, Mila is just coming in, so I'm glad I'm done now. I was confused why she wasn't interrupting before, but now she's here and she's ready to approve prints. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. This is one of my first ever convention vlogs and I wish I would have filmed more at the convention itself but I was very nervous and didn't want to film people and stuff but I promise next time I'm going to be even braver and film more. My next convention is going to be DCC in Utrecht in March which is very exciting and very soon and yeah now we are just sleeping for a while and recovering from all the stress and all the people and the next thing that's kind of coming up is my presentation for my diploma which is on thursday and yeah i'm very excited this is going to be the end of my graphic design school that i'm going to and i'm going to have my diploma and then i can finally fully focus on my art and all the projects i want to do and finally focus even more on youtube which is very exciting for me thank you so much for sticking around during the time where i didn't have so much time to make videos because i was working on yeah my diploma and yeah <laughs> thank you so much for watching this very random and chill convention vlog and i will be seeing you very soon in my next video bye